this week on Lady A TV. Hello, my name's Oliver Davies and you're watching Literally London. Today we take a look at the speculation surrounding the American song, Downtown. We are literally here today with Lady Violet. Pleasure to have you, the Dowager Countess of Grantham. It's spoken like a man of honor. Now, my lady, haven't you heard there's an American country and Western group that's written a song which many people believe you are the actual writer on it? It's all about your life here in Yorkshire. Have you heard? Of course I've heard. Why else would I be here? Well, it's called Downtown, and Lady Antebellum performs it. The nastier woman never drew breath. Well, it's actually not just a woman. There's two other blokes in the group, but whatever. I'm a stranger from God knows where. Well, my lady, would you mind if I started with some of the lyrics from this song that are believed to have been written by you? Good heavens, what am I sitting on? Another modern brainwave? No, it's actually a swivel chair. Don't be foolish, they sell them at Walmart in America. Why does every day involve a fight with an American? Now, my lady, you say in your song here as I read it, all the portsies on the streets are talking, storefront mannequins sleeping in the lights. We used to smoke while we were jaywalking, like it was your birthday every other Saturday night. Now, I did not know you were one to go out on the weekends. Is that true? What, what is a weekend? Is it true that you knew the band so you never had to pay a cover? And you wrote your name literally on the bathroom tiles. There's like a loo right there in the washroom and you're like writing your name on the tiles. Are we going to have tea or not? Patience, my dear. Mr. Carson is literally bringing some up as we speak. Well, I must ask you, I do not know what you mean when you write, I've got a dress that will show a little uh-uh. I literally do not know what uh-uh is. It sounds a wee bit ridiculous. Ridiculous. So when you go out, would you like literally wear a dress like the one you've got on now? No one wants to kiss a girl in black. Now I notice you've got a cane, I've got me a cane too. I got mine over in Leicester Square. This old bum sold it to me for like four quid and a pint of beer. Don't you care about Downton? No, it's literally downtown. You're saying it's all wrong. I refuse to believe it. Now, are you aware, my lady, that your brilliant, brilliant words Go on. are reaching so many Americans across the pond right now? No, no, I do, I do not know that. In that because of this song, you're becoming famous all over the world. Yes, I have been very fortunate in that regard. Well, my lady, we are so grateful to have you here and so grateful for this beautiful masterpiece which you have created. There comes a time when things are best left to the professionals. A special thanks to Milady and thank you so much for joining us here on Literally London. Tune in next week when I talk with Mumford and Sons about writing I Will Wait and if it was written about waiting in line at the loo. Goodbye. He's lucky not to be playing the violin in Leicester Square. <laughs>